Did you know that exercising every day does not completely shield you from cardiac risk? Well, thankfully, we have Dr. Jeremy Chow, cardiologist at Glen Eagles Hospital, to give us some tips on heart health. Okay, Dr. Chow, thank you so much for being here. Let's kick off this discussion with a misconception that the fitter you are, the lower your cardiac risk. Is that true? Generally, it is true to say that if you exercise regularly, your cardiovascular risk will be lowered. But this is not true if you're going to embark in an exercise uh, program that's going to be more intense than what you do regularly. And so, I think if you're going to do something more strenuous, uh, your cardiovascular risk needs to be reassessed. Okay, well that's a very important misconception to make sure we get it right. And you spoke about assessment. Um, Pre-participation screening, I believe, uh, is something I'm not very familiar with. So can you just walk us through a little bit about it? Okay, uh, it has been recommended in both uh, American as well as European sports societies to uh, do a pre-participation screening for competitive athletes because they actually have a high incidence of sudden cardiac events. Uh, in Singapore, we do not have that same guidelines, but most of us actually adopt the European and American standard to suggest that if you're going to start an exercise program that is more intense than what you're used to doing, especially if you're after the age of 40 years old for male or 45 years old for female with more than one risk factor, normally the cardiac risk factors will include things like hypertension, um, diabetes, or if you have hypercholesterolemia, or if you have a family history of heart attacks, uh, and if you do smoke, these are, these are all the risk factors, uh, you should see a doctor and discuss whether or not you should go for pre-participation screening um, because uh, before you embark on the uh, intense exercise. Oh wow, so it is pretty in-depth and very, very specific. Yes, it is very targeted. Okay, now, do you think it's necessary for people to still go through the PPS if they've been already exercising for an extended period of time? Okay, that's a very good and interesting question because a lot of people have always started uh, their exercise program usually in their 20s to 30s and they've been doing regular physical exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, my recommendation and I think general, general recommendation or consensus is if you're going to start on something that is very intensive, if you're going to start on your first marathon or if you're going to do your first biathlon uh, and you have never done this before and you are above the age of 40 years old for male or 45 for female, if you have one or more of the cardiac risk factors, then you should uh, see your doctor for pre-participation screening because you want to make sure you are not at risk of sudden cardiac event. Well, to wrap this up, can you give us some necessary steps that we need to take for those who want to start exercising? I think, simply put it, we should uh, encourage everyone to plan uh, before the activity. So if you're going to do a marathon run, you probably need to plan three to six months in advance whether or not you're suitable to do the run. Um, you should see a doctor and get a risk assessment done if you're above 40 years old for male with one risk factor or 45 years old for female with one risk factor. And the last uh, advice I would have is to start slow and gradual, gradually increase the intensity as you progress so that you can keep up with the, the intensity of the sport. Okay, so it's plan see your physician and start slow. Yes. Great. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Chow, for being here. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Sven. Thanks to Dr. Jeremy Chow. We now know the importance of pre-participation screening. Watch out for more videos on sports health brought to you by Glen Eagles Hospital.